I'm tired, but I'll keep working if you tell me to. God damn. You are the best peon I know. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Life is Hard. A pixel simulation game about building up a little town, defending it from barbarians. It's pretty fun. The aesthetic seems kinda nice on the outside, but you'll see what I mean when we get into the game. That uh, it's not all it's cracked up to be all the time. I was really excited to play this one until I started playing it. <laughs> There are some buttons on the sides of the screen. B button opens building menu, R opens magic menu, M opens mini-map, V opens menu with extra buildings that are unlocked with by having good relations with other nations. So here are the basics of village management. There are many other features in Life is Hard. Have a nice game, good luck. Blech. Choose your god. <laughs> they just kind of drop you into it. I don't really feel acclimated or anything. I didn't test out any of the menus, but... It's still early access, I guess I applaud them for having any tutorial at all. Um, but yeah, it's kind of bumbly. God of Fertility will give you bonus food and cheaper bed bread baking. God of Nature will give you bonus seeds at the start and more berries will be gained from bushes. God of Sun, praise the sun, will give you bonus faith and at the start and faster faith gain. God of Darkness will give you bonus faith at the start and you'll get faith by killing animals and people. God of War will give your minions bonus damage. God of Architecture gives you bonus resources at the start. Your people will work twice as fast, but their faith gain is twice as slow. Seems like God of War is just a pretty good advantageous thing uh, without too many negatives to it. If, our, if my people start to starve, I'll probably regret it, but uh, that's okay. That's just fine. So yeah, A and D will move me around the map. We can chop down this tree here. Anybody chopping this tree down? Nobody chopping the tree down? That's just great. Upgrades the town hall. We need 10 more wood to do so. I guess that makes sense. He's an atheist workaholic logger. That's fun. Get your little uh, clickables on. How do I how do I go away from him? Can I go away from him now? Oh, right click. Duh. You just can't trust these people. Can't trust them at all. Go get that tree. Wander out into the dark and get the tree! The town needs it! And there's another little guy wandering around. So you got poke on back up. Our Jarl decided to take tribute from all the tribes we know. So give me 10 wood and 8 stone or die now. All the tribes we know. 10 wood, 8 stone. I don't even have it. Uh, taste our arrows. Prepare to die! Where are you? Where are you? It would really help if I knew where he was. Oh. Skeletons? Is he skeletons? Are they barbarian viking skeleton people? I don't know. Everybody's tired. The skeletons are coming. Where are my people? Why are they under attack? Are they coming from the other way? God damn it! Fight them all back! Yes! Yes! Yeah, boy. They did that shit up. We've got two Sandras. <laughs> Believer Sandra and Geraldus. Dude, Geraldus is fucking down for his shit. Fighting for kin and country. God bless you. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? You're a traitor! Well, okay. Let's, uh, loot the caravan. No, everybody's asleep. Let's trade. You give... Uh, wood. Some of your people are ill. And also, I'm experiencing a horrible bug, it seems, at the moment. Go trap that thing for our pig farm, boy. He did? Really? That's fucking awesome. So it begins. He's my friend now? <sighs> this game just grew significantly cooler in my eyes. <laughs> Go to your house, little piggy man. Yeah! How wonderful. And now we should expand a little this way. Get that tree. Don't come home without that fucking tree. 
We needs it. We needs it. You go to bed, tough guy. 16 health, walking around like he just fucking somebody. 37 health? Jesus Christ! If we get attacked right now, we're all dead. I just sent everybody to bed except for the miners. Who uh, are endlessly toiling, of course. As miners do! For the good of the country! Ma! I built a wizard tower, which seems pretty cool. But it seems I need a lot more things from under the earth. In order to build any wands. Fire wand, water wand. I've got a component for the water wand. <laughs> That's exciting, huh? Sleeping restores energy. What restores health? My god. Go to the town hall. There you go. Oh, well. I guess that's a thing. Shit. Shit. God damn it. Everybody go up. Everybody. I need you fucking surface level now. Oh no, he's dead. Oh no. Oh my. Oh shit. Get him! <laughs> Fucking get him! She's an optimist. She'll be able to do it. But she's gonna be significantly fucked up afterwards. Resurrect the minion! Resurrect him! Fuck yeah. That's awesome! Except we lost another one. We will not be able to resurrect this one. God damn. They are just... Fervent. There's too many of them. Fucking A. Throw meat into the grinder until it chokes! Holy shit, man. And then we've got fucking... Are you kidding? Oh, Lord. I repaired it with, uh, something. God damn. Everything's ruined. They came right through and killed us. I guess we have to pay the Vikings toll um, until a point where we're really able to defend ourselves. So I should probably expand a little faster as far as people. And uh, yeah, hopefully this won't happen again. We've got fucking two people left and well, she's got full health. It's not going to be savable, but oh well. Didn't manage to hold back hordes of barbarians. Your people are starving and your settlement is ruined. But there are many other villages. Ah. Uh, let's see another village. This game has quickly grown on me. Like, I, I enjoy the pixel art style even though it's not extremely colorful or interesting. Like, the UI has a bit of trouble. But it's not bad, all things considered. Oh, I got... Some ore. Some iron ore. If I could make... If I could get three more, I could make a sword. Which would be fucking awesome! I'm not sure how to get wool yet, unfortunately. Torch. Fucking balls. Balls to your torch! Uh, let's make a pig farm. How about... Pig farm! You are the best now! It's because we love you. Yes, it's Pig Farm. Oh. Oh. You can restore health here. I guess. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's a house. People be restoring their health. Restoring their health in the house, in the house. Are you restoring your health in the house, in the house? Hmm. I don't, I don't. What are they doing? Oh, they're making a baby! <gasps> There's a little one! He's got a beard! <laughs> uh, oh my god, I love it so much! <sighs> oh, little guy. My best friend forever, dude. Fuck, that is awesome. Okay, so now we've got seven people. So, um... We can do more shit. Oh, I forgot about the mine. Everybody get in the fucking mine! <laughs> and, um, 
I guess there's only one person in the mine now? Is that what I'm to understand? Hmm? Well... We've got six tree things. Oh, shit. The skeletons are coming. The baby can't fight. His dad's gonna die in combat. No! No, it's such a tragic story unfolding before my eyes. <sighs> Please! Oh, no! Oh, my God! He's the king of the world! <laughs> I'm so into this shit, man. <sighs> oh, wow. That was fucking intense. I don't even know what to say. That was that was amazing. They just had a baby, and, and then he goes off to war. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so fun. We've got two Adolfs and two Alices. Gunturd is the, the fucking fifth wheel. <laughs> Do they recover health in their house? I guess that guy's at full health. Go! Do your worst! Oh shit, she's fucking stuck. That's fucking... Oh, we got two people that are basically dead now. The flow of stone has stopped. This guy's gonna fall in like a second. Oh no, oh no. That's so sad, dude. No! No! Why did it have to be this way? Uh, what the fuck is that? Oh man. Can we kill people? I'd just like to uh, get rid of her if she's not going to contribute. Trap this pig. We need some more leather. Leather is good. And I think we can make a workshop now, maybe. No, this is the workshop. We need the smeltery. What the fuck is this? <laughs> What am I looking at? <laughs> this game is lulzy as fuck, man. They're just like <laughs> making out through my camp. You know, we could kill you and eat you. Yeah, but you won't. We know. I don't like it. I don't like it none too much. Destroy him. That guy fucking died. Oh my god. Dude, it's just gone to shit. What the fuck? But we made a baby. <laughs> there was progress. <laughs> oh, oh, my guy's gonna die. Not even he can stand against the barbarian hordes, man. Shit. Shit on the dick. <laughs> Who's still alive? Adolf, grab your sword. <laughs> So, while I'm hesitant to call Life is Hard a great game, it definitely has potential. Uh, here my little chick is just fighting off the skeletal invaders with the bow and arrow. They were super hard without one, and now one person is able to take them all down. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I... I believe that it can go a lot deeper. I hope that it goes a lot deeper. Right now I'm hesitant to give it a final score just because it has, uh, no sound and things like that. So definitely keep an eye on this one if it looks like something you would enjoy, a little uh, 2D village management simulation. It's a pretty good one, uh, all things concerned. So check it out if you like. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Keep an eye out for uh, the second half of this review because one, once it is out of early access, I do plan to uh, revisit it. So until the next time, friends, bye-bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.